And this prisoner has been distilling the substance himself. That is correct, Herr Commandant. But after I alerted the guards, his equipment was removed and destroyed. Excellent work, Captain Zimmermann. Oh, and uh, did you by any chance discover who defaced my photograph of Otto? Yes, Herr Commandant. The culprit is... What is the meaning of this? Collusion with the prisoners? Guards! Arrest both these men! One moment, Herr General. It is not how it seems. This man is one of us. Explain. With your permission, Herr Commandant. I was just reporting to the Commandant that the prisoners have been illicitly supplementing their rations with scrapings from the officers' dustbins. And also, that one man has been manufacturing a forbidden beverage in his barracks. Jolly devious, what? Hmm. Well, Commandant, if those are the worst of the prisoners' crimes, perhaps security at Kolditz is not so bad as I had feared. Indeed, Herr General. Since we placed prisoner Harding in solitary confinement, we have had little, if any, trouble. Harding. Harding. I want that man watched at all times. If he so much as sneezes out of turn, he is to be shot. With respect, Herr General, to execute a British officer without due cause would be... Commandant, would you rather he wandered freely into the laboratories beneath the castle and sent phase two of the program up in flames as well? Of course not, Herr General. Sir, there was one other thing. I noticed a prisoner leaving the authorized area and moving in a furtive manner above the library. I took the liberty of photographing the incident and have the film here. Probably just harmless mischief. We will tighten security around the library. It is all on this film, sir. Oh, give it to me. We won't let on to Crown that we've blown his cover just yet. But we'll warn the other prisoners to watch what they say around him. I thought that fellow smelt a bit fishy. Never liked the cut of his jib. And that ain't all. The General said something about more laboratories under the castle. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, this is most interesting. Oh, I suspected we had not seen the last of General Starr's scientific ambitions. Oh, Captain. You must finish the glider with all haste, and then see what you can discover in the foundations of Kolditz. We've had this steel key made up for you, Stone. It might prove useful. I see you so little, Captain. Keeping yourself busy, eh? Hey, Bernier, did you hear about Crown? You know... I always thought Crown looked a little suspicious. However, we should not discuss this further. The escape committee asked us to let him believe we are unaware of his true identity. Why the saggy eyes, Bernier? I am not sleeping so well, sir. I am constantly woken by the most curious noises coming from below. It really is most distressing. I've got to find some electrical cable, and fast. Got any ideas? Actually, sir, I have. I noticed the guards carrying some cable into an attic storeroom. I think it was left over from the work they are doing on the theater lighting. However, they locked the door behind them with a steel key. Have you seen a steel key? You know, sir? I'm sure I have. Yes, I can see it now. I, it was in the chapel. There was a steel key on top of a box, and beside the box, a guard. I'll speak to you later. Captain? Did you hear about Crown? I did! Don't let on, though, will you? Perhaps we can have a little fun with him. I'm looking for a sheet. Needs to be a good one. Any ideas? Ah, yes. Harding's little project. Ingenious. Well, if it's the finest bed linen you want, I'd go look in the guard's barracks. I'm hunting for some planks, Doc. You seen any lying around? Planks? Not me. You could try Worthington. Doc, you know where I can find me some electrical cable? Now, it's funny you should ask that. I was talking to Bernier, and he mentioned something about cable. I'll speak to you later. 
Hello, sir. Did they fill you in about Crown? They did. Dreadful business. But we mustn't let Crown know we're on to him. Better the devil you know, the E.C. says. But when I think about the number of my schemes he's unraveled, it's hard to resist simply punching him on the nose. Got any plans to get out of here, Worthington? Naturally, sir. But I've decided to keep them to myself after the business with Crown. No offense intended, of course. You're trying to find me some planks. You able to help? You might try the chapel, sir. Jerry's been breaking open some old boarded up doors and they've dumped the debris in there. I'll speak to you later. Hello there! How you doing, Crown? Twiddling my thumbs a bit at the moment, to be honest. The escape committee hasn't given me much to do. <laughs> Must be all out of ideas. Been to the German side of the castle recently? What? I, I mean... No, no, I haven't. I'd love to, of course, but the mess hall route's been proving rather tricky recently. Perhaps you've tried it yourself. I'll speak to you later. You got luck in your eyes, Captain. Why not exchange it for bucks with a little card game? And the rules are? You're kidding, right? After the first card you call higher or lower, get it right and you win. You can have it easy, medium, or hard. The harder the game, the more wins you need in a row. But the more you can make. You got it now? Oh, and it's five currency a shot. Deal me in. Okay. Let's see what you got. Let's stick to easy. Okay. Get three wins in a row, and you're ten richer. Well, you look at that. Even the captain's smile is a winner. How's your elbow action, sir? Okay, show me to the cans. That's it, sir. You just fire away. Sir, they should have you fly Mustangs, or whatever it is you yanks strap guns onto these days. Could you use some help, Captain? Follow me. Right behind you. Could you use some... You wait here. Will do. Could you use some... Distract the guards. Leave them to me. What is going on?
What'll it be? Follow me. After you. What'll it be? Distract the guards. With pleasure. Move, prisoner! Schnell! Track the guards. Okay, I'll think of something. What is that? Ah! 